What's up everyone? Welcome back to another vlog. This is gonna be a day in my life. I have a few appointments today, so I'm just starting off with my little morning routine, some skincare. Brand new product that I recently just got is the Acure Brightening Vitamin C Serum. I really like this brand. I feel like they have pretty good ingredients. It says on the packaging they're paraben free, sulfate free, mineral oil free, hydrolatin free, formaldehyde free, cruelty free. In previous skincare routines I've shown on video, I was always using the Skin Ceutical CE Ferulic Serum and I found this at Harman. So sad that Harman is closing. My favorite little drugstore to cat stuff. And I always keep things in the box like for as long as possible. I don't know why but this is what that bottle looks like and I've used it for a couple days now and I really like it. It definitely isn't the exact same thing as the SkinCeuticals one and this comes at a price point much more affordable. When I got this at Harman, it was $19.99 but then I got like 40% off because they were doing a store closing sale. Vitamin C Ferulic Pineapple and Matcha Tea. It's a lightweight oil-free serum for all skin types. Very gentle. The smell is pretty mild because sometimes a vitamin C serum can have a really strong smell. So it's really not too bad. I've just been using this every morning for the last few days and I've really been liking it. So pump a decent sized squirt into my fingers. And after washing my face and applying the brow serum, I just kind of pat it in all over my face. Sorry, the lighting's a little dark. It's kind of cloudy today. So using the Kiehl's Ultra Facial Cream. I usually just go in with an SPF. And that is basically it for my morning skincare. I'm trying to think how many steps that is. I think it's five. Cleanser, brows, serum, moisturizer, SPF. That is my five step morning skincare routine. It's around 9.30 a.m. now. My dentist appointment is at 10.30. And then at 1.30, I have a hair appointment. I haven't been to the hair salon in like seven months. I thought it was six months, but it's actually seven because I was looking at the last video I did for a hair vlog and it was July. My roots are definitely looking pretty grown out. It's really not too bad because the last time I went, we did a little bit of like a darker color. We kept more of my natural roots and then just did less highlights. So this is like what my grow out is looking like. The length is very long. I definitely need at least two or so inches cut off the length. I want to get my face framing angles trimmed because they're getting pretty long. But I'm just gonna eat some breakfast and then I'm probably gonna brush my teeth again because I always like to make sure I extra super deep clean my teeth before going to the dentist. I just got back from the dentist and it actually only took around a half an hour. Teeth are good. It's a little after 11 a.m. now. I'll have to leave around like 1 p.m. to go to my hair appointment. A little less than two hours to get stuff done. I did work a bit later yesterday just to kind of get ahead so that I would have some more flexibility today to not get as much work done. So today I'm not really planning on working so much. It's just more getting some personal things handled and my appointments and that kind of stuff. But I am moving soon in less than a week, I think. I'm moving in about a week. I already started doing some cleaning up and organizing and packing up. I basically packed up my bathroom. I started packing up the other bedroom there where I was keeping some stuff in that closet. I haven't done anything to my current bedroom, as you can see. I'm probably gonna have a whole separate vlog. That's just gonna be a moving out vlog. Just stay tuned for that. And then ideally a moving in vlog as well. I emptied out this closet completely yesterday. Just left a few random things that we're gonna put away or donate. Just have some paint here. I feel in some holes in the wall and it just needs to be sanded over lightly and then I was considering adding a little bit of fresh paint to the trim.
back from the salon and I'm so happy with my hair. I think I'm gonna overlay a few clips that I'll take tomorrow so I can get some clips and pictures of the after of my hair in natural light because right now it's starting to get dark. It's a little after five. I'm very happy with it. We did a nice like two inches off. We fix up the face framing angles here. One thing I did want to mention is that and I'm so grateful that I have a really amazing stylist and she is so kind and so patient. But after we did the balayage, she toned it or put a glaze in and then we went over, we did the cut and then she was styling my hair. And as she was styling my hair, I was starting to feel like, I didn't know if I was 100% satisfied with the color on the top right here. It was looking a little too light for me. So I kindly asked if we can maybe just do a little bit darker, basically just on the top layer of my hair here on both sides just so that it was a little more my natural color on top and gradually gets lighter as we get to the bottom so she put another glaze in and bless her because she is the nicest person and she was like i just want you to be 100 percent satisfied and happy and literally like 99.9% .9 of it was perfect i was like i literally just wanted this little top layer just a little darker and thankfully she was able to do it right there on the spot because obviously she's really busy and she has other clients but we were able to get the glaze in and we left that in just to tone down the blonde on the top sections right here so we had the glaze like here and i feel like it's literally perfect i think at the end of the day your stylist wants you to be 100 percent satisfied so if you're getting your hair done cut color whatever it is and there is something about it that you just don't love i think it's okay to kindly speak up about it and ask and hopefully you guys can come to a solution and that's exactly what we did and I'm very happy with it so if you guys are interested in going to carly or her salon I'll have her studio linked down below the Instagram for it. But they do a great job. They're in the central Jersey area and I've been going here for a couple years now. It's like usually we just do highlights and I go super blonde, but I really wanted to do something a little more natural. So I'm really happy with my hair. It just feels so healthy with the trim. It's a little after five now. I was thinking I might want to style my hair a little and just kind of play around with it because I love when I have these fresh curtain bangs or these framing angles. she had other clients after we did my second glaze she didn't have time to do a full styling so that's why i'm just kind of playing around with it now i'm just gonna take this out literally only left it in for like a minute or two now i'm just gonna figure out what i want to eat so try to whip something up It's the next day now, but I just wanted to do a proper outro for this day in my life vlog. So thank you guys all so much for watching. Hope you guys all enjoyed the little hair come to the salon with me portion of the vlog. And subscribe and stay tuned for more.